Bill and Hillary Clinton have been the subject of lots of rumors over the years, but one particularly persistent one is also pretty odd, that Chelsea Clinton isn't Bill's daughter. Here's why it won't seem to go away. During Bill's time in the White House, from 1993 to 2001, Chelsea largely stayed out of the spotlight. Bill and Hillary's only child attended high school in the early years, then started at Stanford University in 1997. Chelsea entered the public eye more fully in the following years. She became an NBC correspondent in 2011, has worked prominently for the Clinton Foundation, and campaigned for her mom during her runs for the presidency in 2008 and 2016. Even if we're voting against something, we are also voting for something. Right? So for me, I'm, yes, I'm voting against Donald Trump. I'm also so proudly voting for my mom. The notion that she wasn't Bill's biological daughter has dogged Chelsea since the 1990s, but it got a shot in the arm between Hillary's presidential campaigns. In 2014, Larry Nichols, a former aide of Bill's when he was governor of Arkansas, came forward and alleged that the former president once admitted that he was sterile due to a childhood case of measles. He claimed that Chelsea's biological father was former Little Rock mayor and U.S. Associate Attorney General Webster Hubble, with whom Hillary once worked. It's worth noting that Nichols had an axe to grind. He filed a lawsuit against Bill over his 1988 firing for phone calls to the Contras in Nicaragua, which Nichols eventually dropped. Once Bill started his run for president in 1992, Nichols became a frequent guest on conservative talk radio, claiming Bill had five extramarital affairs while governor. It even reached the point where Nichols proclaimed he had committed murders on the Clintons' behalf, a statement he later rescinded. He remained a conservative political commentator until his death in 2020. Even so, some believe Nichols was telling the truth about Chelsea's parentage. People on X, formerly Twitter, have put photos of Chelsea next to Hubble and his daughters, comparing their features. Yet despite all the whispers, the parties involved haven't spoken out on the topic. In 2015, Chelsea was at a signing to promote her first book, It's Your World, Get Informed, Get Inspired, and Get Going, which was aimed at preteen readers. CBS News reported that an attendee asked her, Has your mother ever told you that you're the daughter of Webb Hubble and not Bill Clinton? Chelsea responded, I'm so proud to be my parents' daughter. She then quickly changed the subject. This appears to be the only time she has publicly addressed or sidestepped the rumor, at least directly. Dad, as all of you now know, liked Police Academy. <laughs> my mom and I loved Pride and Prejudice. We're kidding with that, of course, but conspiracy theories about the Clintons have been a cottage industry for years, so it's no real surprise that Chelsea isn't the only child rumored to have been born outside of Bill and Hillary Clinton's marriage. In the late 90s, Danny Williams claimed to be Bill Clinton's son. He and his family were from Little Rock, Arkansas, and Danny alleged he was the product of a tryst between Bill and his mother, Bobby Williams, a former sex worker. A DNA test was conducted to confirm Danny's paternity. The results excluded Bill as a possibility, putting the issue to rest, at least temporarily. The topic of Danny's parentage resurfaced in 2016, when Hillary Clinton was running for president. Several media outlets ran with the story, with some even calling the first DNA test commissioned by the tablet star into question. The same year, Danny announced he would file a paternity suit and even reached out to Monica Lewinsky for access to Bill's DNA, though she never responded. As of 2024, Danny continues to express his belief that Bill Clinton is his biological father, with both his Instagram and X bios reading, I'm the son of the 42nd president. I am the son of former President Bill Clinton. All I want to do is shake my father's hand. 